Did you see my, yes. my screen? Yes. Wow, yes. beautiful. Wow. Uh, wow. Uh, hello, hello, everyone. I'm so happy to see you all here. And let me share with you some information about my home city, Vitebsk. On this picture, you can see crest of Vitebsk. Vitebsk uh, the oldest city of Belarus. Uh, and it, wa it was uh, founded in 974. But, uh, during, uh, but she, it was um, almost completely destroyed during the Great Patriotic War. So you can see old architecture uh, of the city only on uh, a central part of the city. <clears throat> Vitebsk has many churches. Uh, almost of them <clears throat> was built on 18th centuries. Uh, Skatia, all of them are from the same city? Yeah. Wow. It's uh, d d different churches in my city, Vitebsk. Uh, on the photo, in the upper right corner of the picture, did you see? You can see the Pushkin's Bridge. Traditionally, during the wedding, uh, the groom uh, brings uh, the bride on his hands across this bridge, and uh, then they put uh, a lock on bridge and uh, throw the key in the river. It's like a symbol of love. Oh, yeah, strong love. Mm -hmm. I want that. Vitebsk mm. is known is known that Mark Chagall was born here. He is an artist who was known not only in Belarus. She was known in France and uh, he some uh, he lived in United States, uh, States uh, sometimes. And all foreigners who come in, in Vitebsk uh, wanted to visit museum that you uh, which you can see on the right corner and where was where live uh, Mark Chagall. On this picture you can see uh, Victory Square which was cre created in honor of soldiers uh, killed during the Great Patriotic War. And near the Victory Square, Winner's Park. Nowadays, Vitebsk is best known for holding the festival Slavyansky Bazaar. It takes in the first half of July. This event gathers uh, performers and viewers from different countries of the world. The main concert venue of festival the, okay. is the summer uh, amphitheater. And this is uh, during the concert and uh, you can see this it, uh, another picture. In addition, uh, I would, would like to say that Vitebsk is called uh, the cultural capital of Belarus. Thanks for watching. Beautiful, Katya. Thank you, Katya. God. Katya. Uh, Katya, what is the name of the city? Vitebsk. V6. V6? Vitebsk. Okay. Um, my goodness. Shockingly beautiful. Thank okay, you. let me. Okay, Katya, please um, unshare your your presentation. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, how we? Okay, good. Okay, um, Lourdes, uh, Ra, Rawa. Aya, Galia, Asma, Banan, Apap, any question? Yes, uh, let, let, let the other, uh, Deepa, let, let's uh, let the other students uh, um, yeah, I mean, uh, ask questions. 
Okay. Aya, can I ask? Okay, Aya has a question. Katya. Hi, Katya. Thank you for your presentation. Yes, Katya, can you uh, tell me about uh, is any farming in your hometown or the famous farming in your hometown? About famous, sorry, I don't understand. Famous farming. Uh, Katya, uh, Aya wanted to know what kind of vegetables or, uh, or crops do you grow on your farms? Is that right, Aya? Yes. Okay. Let's try. Uh, what? Uh, in our country, people <clears throat> grow uh, grow such as in Canada, potato, uh, tomato, onion, uh, cucumber, cabbage, and different kind uh, kind of vegetable. And fruits, right? And fruits. Yeah. Yes, okay. yeah. Thank you. Can a beautiful night. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Katya, okay, let, let me teach something new. Okay, Katya, say to Aya, I hope I answered your question. You go. Mm -hmm. I no, hope no, I, I answered your question. No, okay. More feeling. You see, I hope I answered your question. I hope I answered your question. And then Aya tell her, you say, you did a great job. You did it a great job. Yeah, like that. You, you know? so much. That is what you call, like... <laughs> Look at Ari smiling. <laughs> no, like when two people present, present, you know, and when you present and people ask you a question, and if you are not sure that you <clears throat> answered uh, well, you can say, well, I hope I answered your question. Mm -hmm. and, and then if the answer is not good, you got to be polite. Do not say, oh, your answer is uh, it's not clear. Oh, my God. I don't know why. why? You know, your country, you don't know. <laughs> okay. If the answer is not clear. Um, okay. For example, the answer is not clear. Okay. So Katya asked Juan. I hope I answered your question. Say go. I hope I answered your question. And then Juan, she did not answer your question. And just say. Uh, th that's okay, thank you. That's okay, thank you. Yeah, that's it. You're welcome. Don't argue, do not make people shy. You're, you're yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes, teacher, uh, my question is right or wrong? If I ask uh, Katya, uh, what's the famous farming in your hometown? This is right way? Yeah, no, your question is correct, but uh, the reason why Katya did not understand it um specifically because your question is general yeah. <laughs> you know uh, even me i did not understand what you wanted katya mm -hmm. to explain that's why i ask you if uh, are you are, did you want to know what products what crops do they produce you know what i mean okay. so um so in this situation katya maybe you can say um, sorry, Aya, but what exactly do you mean? What do you want to know? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Aya, you say, well, do you have, and make it simple, Aya. You can say, well, do you have corns, vegetables? And then Katya, you say, gotcha. And then you answer. You know what I mean? That's, that's how to play it. Okay. So next can question. Ask? Can you ask? Talia has a question. Okay. Hi, Katya. Hi. Thank you for Hi. presentation. Very nice. Thank you. Tell me about uh, the most uh, sport in your city. The mm. most popular sport. Yeah. Popular sport, not only in my city, but in Belarus, very popular hockey and football. Mm. And when I lived uh, in Belarus, uh, many times I went to stadium and see football. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank Katia, you. I want to I wanna go with you to, to Belarus. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you sometimes it will be. No, you, you know, everybody listen to this. I've been to Europe. I've been to Amsterdam, uh, Holland, France, Italy. Germany, Switzerland, Liching time. 
yeah, I've been to six of these countries. And what I notice about Europe is the buildings are so beautiful and they're old. And so when you drive, you see the buildings and you look and you imagine about 80 years ago, 100 years ago, you know what I mean? That building has history and many people, they are now in heaven. They were there before. Like you will have the goosebumps looking at these. And then I also saw in Europe, um, the rivers, like especially in Switzerland and Germany, <laughs> the rivers are so clean. Yeah. And a lot of fish swimming and no one is fishing. You know what I mean? So, um, because people are not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when I look at, you know, the, the, your city, uh, Katia, I imagine myself walking there, you know, and taking pictures, you know what I mean? That's why when I said to you, I want to go to Belarus, um, Belarus, uh, you're actually the <laughs> third person you cook from my chicken nuggets. Uh, uh, I, I really want to go to Belarus. Now, now Katia. Uh, uh, on photo, you, you mm -hmm. can see... Uh, street where tra transport not allowed, only only pedestrian. Oh, you've got to walk. Mm -hmm. So don't kill me when yes. you're there. Yeah, that's a European yes. idea because that idea actually, uh, even in Montreal, there are places like that you, you cannot drive, you've got to walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's good exercise, you know, yeah. and I like that. But I need to go with a person that will make my my day a good day you know what i mean Adil, where are you <laughs> okay so no i don't want to go with adil my goodness <laughs> <laughs> when i go with adil adil will tell me i don't want to go to this restaurant i don't eat that food i am vegetarian you know what i mean <laughs> no she, she is not vegetarian. this is a problem for me because i love meat <laughs> okay okay so uh, any, okay, okay, Deepa has a question. Yes. How many seasons in your country? Uh, in my city, around uh, three or seven hundred thousand people. Not people, uh, sorry, not people. Uh, season, season. 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 Season, uh, season. season. For yeah. like in Canada. Okay, talk <laughs> more, Katya. Talk more. Uh, for, for see you know country for season like in Canada uh, winter spring uh, summer and autumn and, and then you say Katya more you have to say in the springtime the normal temperature is you know mm, in the springtime normal temperature around uh, 10 degrees uh, in summer depend uh, of time. Times it can be ten, only 10 and sometimes it can be uh, 30 and 35. Uh, and in the summer? Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, sometimes here. Yeah. Sometimes it, it's very rainy in Belarus. Mm. And, and uh, what uh, I would like to say that in Canada, more sunny days in, than in, in Belarus because in Belarus, very much uh, cloudy day days oh really yeah yeah and in the winter is it very is it very very cold oh last week in belarus it was uh, minus 20 degrees oh, oh my god yeah and there was uh, very much snow and uh, uh, yesterday in all country orange level attention because uh, too much snow hmm. wow but no not every winter <laughs> this weather teacher, because teacher, so, so, can, sometimes uh, like in no. canada this year only mm, minus five plus five what one what do you want to say can i ask you uh Katia, a easy question? Okay, sure, no problem. Katia, can I ask him something you? Yes, read, of course. 
Okay, um, do you know how old is your city? Yeah, I told on presentation that it was founded on 974 by Princess Olga. Thank you so much. 974. Yes. Very old. Right? Uh, 974, yes. Yeah, very old. <clears throat> yeah, very old. It's a second uh, <clears throat> c city in Belarus. Uh, first city is Polotsk. Uh, it's around uh, 100 kilometers uh, from Vitebsk. Oh, so good. If, if I want to go to your city, Katya, how do I get to your city from Toronto? From Toronto? Just you take plane uh, from Toronto, Toronto to Warsaw, Warsaw, Poland. Then you take plane uh, to Minsk airport. And from Minsk, you can take a bus or <clears throat> train or taxi to Vitebsk. And it, it takes uh, around three hours by car from Minsk to Vitebsk. To your city? Yeah. Three hours. Yeah. Um, okay. So is it safe to travel from Minsk to um, to your city? Yeah. Okay. Safe? But why, why not? Because uh, the road in uh, uh, from Minsk to Vitebsk, like, uh, not like highway in Canada. It's uh, smaller. Uh, but uh, it's the traffic is good. Uh, good, good. <laughs> Not like this, like in Canada, <laughs> because uh, two side uh, moving. Yeah, and uh, no, no, not too much car. And uh, okay, yeah, Katya, do you in in your in your country do you drive on the left side or on the right side? Like, do you uh, drive? Like, right, right, like in Canada, right? Okay, not like England, right? Right. Um, um, uh, Adil. Yes. In Pakistan, do you is your driving like England or like US? Like England. Hmm. I don't like this, you know. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Japan is the same. I drove in Japan because I was in Japan for like three weeks. I rented a car and I drove. My my brain, I had a headache. <laughs> because, you know, because they drive on the other side. Yeah, the other side. But, but, I, can, but I can drive there. In Japan? No, no. In Pakistan, <laughs> when I go today, I can drive easily. Mm. In you Pakistan. can drive easily. Really? No, because <laughs> you grew up there. You, you cannot, you know. Okay. So, um, uh, Katya... Um, in your in your city, uh, do you have like nightclub, <clears throat> disco? Yeah, Ooh. we we have we have uh, nightclubs there, yeah. uh, but not uh, very much. Maybe uh, three or five nightclubs, and uh, some years ago, uh, one of the club was the largest club in Belarus. Ooh, uh, she, the, it, uh, it called uh, energy and there was uh, three or four uh, part and in uh, uh, every part of club you can choose uh, music what you wish you like. Mm -hmm. Do people speak English when you go around the city? Yes, because uh, in our uh, in my city we have um, uh, medicine university, <clears throat> and in it uh, study students from different countries, and they almost of them speak in English. Yes. So if I say to a beautiful lady, uh, "Excuse me, wow. um, I'm lost," <laughs> she can speak uh, English. I am not sure that every lady can <laughs> to help you, but uh, they will try because uh, in Belarus people very kindly and very honest and friendly. 
Any more Ari question for uh, Katya? Teacher, I can, uh, can uh, I ask. Okay, Ari has a question. Yes. After Ari is Banan. Okay. Okay, listen, the reason why I wanted you to ask more questions because we finished the presentation early because the other students are not here. Samir, Sandy, and Lina. Okay, uh, Ari. Yeah, uh, what is the language over your hometown? River. You asking about river or language? The word? What is the language? Language. 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 Yeah. Language. Uh, in our country, all people speak uh, on Russian, mm -hmm. but uh, in school, uh, uh, all children uh, learn uh, Belarusian and uh, can choose uh, language from uh, from third or fourth language like uh, French, Spanish, uh, Deutsch, and in English. Mm. But um, all people speak uh, on Russian. But uh, Belarus has uh, its own uh, language, Belarusian, but only 5% people speak on Belarusian. And uh, I think most of them live in village. Oh. I hope I answered your question. <laughs> um, it's good. Thank you.